Hey, Steve Hansen here with the Janitorial Store in my house cleaning biz. Um, see, I wanted to have a topic on, um, you know, uh, can cleaners keep getting raises? Uh, you know, it's a common trap that some of us might fall into, and you need to have some systems in place so, so you can address it uh, when the time comes when that employee has met their, their wage caps. So, uh, I guess the, the, the quick answer is, uh, can you continue to give them raises? No, you can't. There has to be a cap, and the reason why is that we have all of our jobs, our jobs and accounts have caps uh, as far as wage caps. Uh, you know, so when we're uh, pricing these and uh, bidding on them, uh, we're actually putting a, putting some caps in place to know that okay, we can't exceed you know eighteen dollars per hour for this certain position. So that's the first reason why. Um, you know, and the other thing is that you do have to set some, uh, some uh, uh, you got to set your, your wage caps for every position that you have. Uh, you know, so that may be a range for maybe a frontline cleaner, maybe you're going at uh, $12 to $18 per hour. Uh, you know, it's different for everybody. Uh, the one thing you have to start, especially now, is you've got to consider about the minimum wage increase. You know, in most states, it's going to be $15 per hour for a minimum wage. So generally, that's where our 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 wage uh, uh, is going to be set at fifteen dollars per hour. Then on up to you know what eighteen twenty dollars per hour. But you have to establish those wage caps and do that for every position. Uh, the other thing that you have to do is that you've got to make sure that you're pricing your jobs right. Uh, that's the key. You know, if you're going in there and doing a low ball just to get the account. Uh, again, you know, you probably price that where you're putting in a minimum wage uh, cleaner. Uh, depending on what state you're in, you know, that could be as you know, little as uh, eight bucks an hour, you know, eight fifty an hour. So, you know, you have to be careful of that because that means that you have no room uh, to put a uh, maybe a more experienced cleaner in there or even even a, a supervisor. You know, uh, you have to calculate all that. So when you when you're doing that, uh, you're you're setting the cap. Uh, on the on the job itself already just by just by your price point uh, the other thing uh, you want to do is for uh, all of your your contracts and agreements that you're doing make sure you put in an annual uh, increase you know typically uh, you can write in there that uh, um, you know two to three percent for uh, cost of living and you know it's easy enough to get your averages just go online and uh, do a search on uh, you know the cost of living averages, and you can get those numbers. Uh, but you're going to typically fall in there two to three percent. Uh, but ma just make sure you write it in there in on your uh, on your agreements and your contracts. Now something else, uh, like I had said earlier about uh, on your contracts, you want to make sure that you have a conversation with uh, with your prospect that about minimum wage because it's affecting them too. If they have employees, it's affecting them. So bring up that conversation. Make sure you write that into your, into your contract that due to minimum wage increases that you'll be able to increase your, your price for service. Uh, that'll give you a little buffer in there then. Uh, something else to consider because we do have these, we have these caps, these wage caps. Uh, something else you want to consider is maybe uh, rewarding them in, in other ways. So once they hit the, the wage cap, uh, think about awards that you can give them. And how about PTO? PTO is probably one of the best benefits any of us can give, give our employees. Most of our employees want paid, ta uh, paid time off. Uh, you know, and I'm so surprised about how many cleaning companies actually don't have PTO. It's, it's such a, a simple benefit that we can offer uh, our, our team and uh, it's something that they really look forward to. But so you can do that. Uh, another thing you can always do is you can always uh, implement some performance bonuses. Um, if a person has reached their uh, their wage cap, uh, then start implementing some bonuses. So there's many things you can do, but you we have to think about this. Um, you know, the bottom line is that uh, when you're pricing an account and you're setting it at a technician to go in at 12 bucks an hour, well, you know. Uh, make sure that that's going to be a good enough price, you know, uh, that your calculations are, are done so for, uh, for, you know, so for a few years anyway, uh, unless you have something in place to where you can do these annual increases. Otherwise, you're going to be talking to your, 
talking to your customer and saying, hey, you know, sorry, but I, you know, I underpriced this and I need to increase my, increase my price, you know, for service. Now that just, uh, that opens up that can of worms where they're going to go out and uh, go out to bid more than likely. So make sure you're pricing your jobs right. That's the key. Uh, hopefully this is helpful to you. I know a lot of uh, cleaning companies don't think about this, uh, but you have to. You know, you have to know if, uh, if you're going to continue to give raises to your cleaners. And uh, as I said, the, the short answer is no, you can't afford to do that. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, click the like button and the share button, and we'll see you next time.